Brixton Jam in London. If you're with us in the building, make some noise! We are at the final of the Academy series. Both of these battlers have worked their way to get to this point, and one of them will walk away as the Academy 21 champion. That being said, on the right hand side, you've seen him before. London, show some love for Cooper. Let's go! <laughs> Series, it's a three round battle. Cooper decided he wants to start round one, so it's round one on you, bro. Let's go. Let's get it. Take it from a funny looking fella. You are a funny looking fella. <laughs> like, you're two years older than me, but you're looking haggard and worn. Look like you've been battling gravity since the day you were born. <laughs> Every single atom in that face has been dragged to the floor. How you got me battling a melting wax work out of Madame Tussauds? <laughs> <laughs> but I am worried about your health because your face looks like it's slowly eroding. I mean, the way that eye hangs, you could be having a stroke and nobody would notice. <laughs> Terrified. You could be slurring your speech, swaying and stumbling. Family members be like, don't worry, Graham's drunk again. <laughs> I feel sorry for you though, mate. As a teen smoking weed, it must have been a nightmare, mate. Picture Graham creeping in, like a scene out of The Quiet Place. Tiptoeing through the house, he knocks something off the fireplace. The lights flash, he's caught in it like a rabbit in the highway. His mum starts yelling, what did I tell you about getting high with your mates? She's like, how do you know? It's like, you dickhead, look at your face. Both of your eyes are the same. <laughs> <laughs> and despite what everyone in this room thinks, I think your tattoos are pretty cool, Grazza. I do. Especially since you've modelled the whole appearance after my school planner. <laughs> See, I like tattoos. They allow you to defy the norm, artistically express some higher thoughts, or even fight a cause like this 94, which tells the whole world this is the year I was born! <laughs> I actually don't mind it. Uh, six out of ten, I like the form. Six out of ten, I like the form. Oh, fuck's sake. Come on. Six out of ten, I like the form. Now we're moving on. This is actually my favourite. No, Cappy standing on the wrong side, but this tattoo makes it look like at a passing glance you actually have hair under that hat. And then you get a little bit closer and you're like, nope, it's just another shit tat. <laughs> <sighs> time, time. Let's go, Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Watch me do a fat job and bring the lean back. After this battle, Briggsy wants his jeans back. <laughs> so it's the Academy final. And my first round of the tournament. Bro, but I got a shaker. You look like pot of paper if growing up his block was safer. <laughs> <laughs> See, this, to this tournament got me conflicted. On one hand, I was told to be respectful with women. Take no for an answer and not be too pushy. On the other hand, I've been shown up twice for two separate dates and somehow still got pussy. <laughs> no shoulder every turn. So I understand why some of you are sitting on the fence. Because when I said I wouldn't lose a round this whole tournament, this isn't what I meant. <laughs> but since we're here, there can only be one winner and it's not you. Who do you think you're rapping with? So fire, I put cold water in my pot noodle and battle it. <laughs> Whereas you, you're the most boring. water in my pot noodle and battle it. Whereas you, you're the most boring of twats. Corny in fact. I heard your mum gave you a glass of milk and you went, can you put some water in that? <laughs> <laughs> See, how are you gonna act like fools brawl on your block when you got a chin like two pool balls and a sock? <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm here to show you that you're half a man. In real life, Cooper's a pacifist. He don't fuck with a cannon like Marvel fans. But when it comes to rap, all bets are off and he's on the block with the Glock quick. I had to, I had to watch from the sidelines, but stepped in when Cooper got the stones like the watcher in What If? <clears throat> yeah. See, regardless of how I got here, I'm just picking up where I left off. I had to drop out of the Academy 19. 
Now I'll pop back out the woodwork, they're calling me a renegade. Bobby Rex philosophy on life. When life gives you lemons, you shout at it till it turns into lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, second round of Cooper. Who's what? He was actually mad that I was bringing all my friends. Fuck me for selling so many tickets to the event. He was on Twitter like, I don't need to, the battlers are my friends. I bring the hype myself. That's swell. Not only do you have no friends, you have no life as well. <laughs> <laughs> I've sold tickets to the guys that sell your mum tickets. I can be cut I have sold tickets to the guys that sell your mum tickets. I can be cutthroat or fun with it. Mum jokes and dumb lyrics. Up close or run with it. Oh my fucking up close or run with it. My boys are here because they fuck with it. Your boys ain't here because you can't admit that you're in love with it. You're so scared of the judgment of everyone knowing you're actually a passive bastard. See, I was the same, Graham. I changed. I trusted that process and now I'm strapped with a massive arsenal. Don't slow that down. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm strapped with a massive arsenal. If you try to kick me when I'm down, you break your metatarsals. I'm no longer surrounded by pretentious arseholes like Meghan Markle. I'm not just a Another comic book, Graza. I'm trying to make the legends marvel. I need to set examples and make this level harder. And these days, to take the win, you need to spray in the ring like Takeshi's castle. And you're, <laughs> and you're from that KOTR crop, so you like to be an edgy bastard. Do you miss all your drunken nights? Now you're somehow a main stager. Do you miss getting booked on cards with the names like Slave Labor? <laughs> yeah, it's a bit crazy, huh? I know, it's just the name. I wasn't there in those days, huh? Yeah, you're right. I probably don't understand the nuances of the racist behaviour. <laughs> you're just lucky you're forgettable. <laughs> Trying to be something you're not. You've been in battles that even Verse Tracker and Crumpet forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Verse Tracker and Crumpet forgot. So you're going to call me middle class and posh when I'm not. It's guaranteed to happen which should make the fact that in this battle, I'm the rapper embarrassing. I told you in that face-off, if this was on beat, 3 and you'd lose. You were like, yes, Coops, but it's a different art form. It, it, just because you're good at snooker doesn't mean you're good at pool. And it's like, whilst that analogy's true, and yes, it's factually, you know, true, do you think Ronnie... <laughs> yeah, it's fucked up, didn't I? It's factually true. <laughs> Although that's, that's the analogy he used, and whilst that's factually true, do you think Ronnie O'Sullivan walks up to a pool table, inspects the queue like, guys, what end do I use? Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, time. 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 Yo, your mum looks like she's from Mordor. <laughs> <laughs> she a raw whore when we fuck her, don't kiss her. If you ever heard Cooper's got the four fours in the four door, it's a lift for his mum and his sisters. <laughs> Plus, I don't put no effort in with your girl. I only hit it because she called me non-stop. Nicknamed her Drop Toast. Because when she spread, butter's always on top. Because <laughs> when she spread, butter's always on top. Being seen in public with her, won't lie, must take a lot of pressure. Because she constantly looks like someone's asked her to describe the taste of Dr. Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> describe it. <laughs> she told me to come over. She said she'd text me when you've gone because you ain't getting along. I said, I'm already on my way. Put the kettle on and the blue thong. Don't worry, Cooper won't do shit. He ain't got the metal dog like Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> he ain't got the metal dog like Jimmy Neutron. Uh, yo, that girl's, that girl's a freak. Mm. Being on her knees is a key position. That girl blow more sacks than Lisa Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> she told the team we may be more than she can manage, but I still charm around for dinner to see more and give her that fire in the kitchen. Aurora Borealis. <laughs> see, I'm the cherry on top like a Rob Roy. I don't care if you rocked up with a convoy. Your mate's gassing you. Oh. I don't care if you rocked up with a convoy. Oh. If your mates try and overgas you, then I'm spitting in their face. I don't care if you brought a bunch of pushies. Coop known for keeping chickens in their place. <laughs> Coop known for keeping <laughs> chickens in their place. See, you say some suspect shit in battles, <laughs> and then act like it isn't sus. But Coop, you're known for two things, getting pegged and wanking your mates off on a minibus. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
She made me promise not to tell Cooper and I won't. Scout's on her. Uh. <laughs> oh, Scout's on her. <laughs> I don't mean to bring her up so much. I just do it so your future opponents will have to change up the game plan because they shouldn't. Because you know how the old saying goes, behind every great man, there's a great woman. <laughs> Yours just has a big fat dick. So. <laughs> Final round of So he's bringing up his get my girl, like it's gonna affect me. You wouldn't say that here, cause she could rip you up to shreds. I mean, if she can pin me down to peg me, she could kick your fucking head in. <laughs> 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 Jesus. 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 Oh. Let's get back to serious stuff as well. Thanks for bringing that up. Um, <laughs> so there's two things you lack. Talent and conviction. You told me you came here to rap. You ain't about to do it with this level of passion and vigour because you are a sad, lonely, insecure man who casts an embarrassing figure. Said you're going to break me down as a man. Let's see if you can go eye to eye later with a man in the mirror. Ah, oh, eye to eye later with a man in the mirror. Ah, oh, fucking shit, you're right. Eye to eye with the man in the mirror. Yo, let me tell you about, tell you about your sad, lonely, insecure man who casts an embarrassing figure. Hey, I'm not done with you yet. Come back here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck sake, See, yo. See, this round, I want to know what you know about going to sleep with a hot water bottle because mommy couldn't pay for the meter. Or being embarrassed having friends over because you've got to explain why you put quids in the telly for to work and that's what pays for the freezer. See, this round, I want to know what you know about going to sleep with a hot water bottle because mummy couldn't pay for the meter. Or being embarrassed having friends over because you have to explain why you put quids in the telly for it to work and that's what pays for the freezer. There's been another stabbing on the road. Mum's pranked, so you got to spend the next three weeks trapped indoors or sleeping in your brother's room because the house he decided you derelict and you got rats in yours. Yo, what do you know about eating beans that are cheaper than a bag for life? <laughs> what do you know about getting used to sleeping? Yo, what do you know about getting used to sleeping to the screams of the junky neighbour slap his wife? Yo, I never had those little luxuries in life. Not like someone I know, Mr. What do you know about that? What do you know about not being able to use the internet while your mum's on the phone? <laughs> no. I bet he's never been inside a netto. <laughs> <laughs> never been inside a netto. I bet he's even tried gelato. <laughs> See, growing up, pocket money was a myth. So I was trading cigarettes for my free meals. Spent my childhood going around in circles because I literally had a skateboard with three wheels. <laughs> <laughs> Romany gypsy blood in my veins. So I felt the cold hand of racism. Mummy tried to get me in a better school. They pulled her up on the first day with the form saying she made a mistake with him because I had to put white British on the form just so we could get a place with him. <laughs> Yo, my point is, battle rap's for everybody, even you despite you being trash. It just, pisses <laughs> it just pisses me off. You think you're up against it in the scene just because you're white and middle class. See, 
You're the, <laughs> you're the type of guy to wear warm Converse's on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> the type of guy to eat at M&S on his worst day. I thought, you're the type of guy to tweet Eminem on his birthday. <laughs> That's why you get left here. My stop banging off of this Italian job for trying to convince me this golden coupe I'll leave you hanging off a cliff. Oh, see, that used to be my life. And now, and now I just worked... Oh, fuck's sake. That, see, that used to be my life. And that... Uh, oh, used to... Come on, bro. Come on, bro. That used to be my life. Now I just worked to better it for me. Deep breaths as I exhale. That's rest in peace to Lee. Time. Yeah,